Hey guys, Tony Smith with Denison Yachty, and today you're going to see behind me a brand new 2021 Lagoon 46. This is a new model out from Lagoon. It's available here in Fort Lauderdale. The dealership over at uh, Atlas Marine uh, did the courtesy of letting me show this boat today for some of my clients. So I'll include their information down below. I have my direct clients contact me directly. So we're going to flip the camera around, take a little tour around this boat. Okay, so starting off here on the port side of the Lagoon 46, what you're going to see is you've got some really nice hull side windows in this boat. And then all those, also notice you've got that hard chine in this. Now they actually do that to uh, increase the interior volume of the boat, but also allow for uh, the hull on the catamaran to not be too wide while it's down in the water there. It's a really neat feature. Up above, this catamaran has a flybridge area, so you'll note it's got a dedicated hard top on it. It has two really nice windows, so you can see what the sail is doing up above there. And then also notice in the hard top, it has a ladder form, so you can climb up and uh, repack that sail when you're stowing it away. So a really nice feature to have. On the port side hull, you'll see I've got the uh, engine compartment flipped up, and that is a forward-facing compartment, so you can safely access that boat while you're underway. Also note, you've got a nice integrated uh, swim ladder there. And then here, center line, you've got a great tender. So this is a high field tender for Lagoon. So it's a branded tender specifically for this yacht. So that whole platform will lower down to easily launch the tender. And then what you'll notice here is on the platform, it has some teak slats. And then you'll note when you're not using it, those uh, dinghy chocks will fold down and then you get a little teak beach here across the transom of the boat. So really a nice feature to have. Just a beautiful, innovative design from Lagoon. Okay, so one small little feature here is when we step on board, you'll note we get about six inches to step on safely. Some catamarans do not have that and it's a little awkward to get on them. So having the uh, sugar scoops extended just a little bit to easily step on board, super nice feature here. So obviously we've got the first of uh, two mechanical spaces down to our engines there. I believe this boat has the 57 horsepower upgraded motors on it. So here is our main cockpit. You'll note you got a really nice teak table. You got plenty of room here to entertain and uh, really get the most of this. You'll note that the uh, main doors are sliding, so I have those slidden over to the uh, starboard side. And then you've got a nice window that opens up as well, so that gives you additional ventilation as well as uh, easy access to the kitchen if you're handing, handing anything out. Here on the starboard side, you've got a little wet bar. So you've got your uh, sink there, you've got an ice maker and a refrigerator just after that. Starboard side, you've got this nice uh, settee here. This is almost its own little day bed. And you note there's a ton of storage on this boat. Down below in this hatch here, you get a nice, uh, nice area there underneath the seat and uh, very, very functional design. So when we look over at the table area here, you'll see this table can uh, fold out so you can seat the whole way across. And this little uh, bench seat here um, on <laughs> your forward area, it is on a slider. So you see the slider right there? We do have storage underneath, but then we can push a button in and then slide this easily back. So a really neat feature when you slide that back, you expose these stairs here. So easily from the cockpit, you can walk up to the port side if you're heading up to the helm. Now you're gonna see here, I've got uh, my countertop area. This is where my propane is stored. So that's your storage locker for the propane. As well as you do have another box here. This could be used as a cold box because it does have a, a drain in it. And then right here, you've got access to uh, refuse. And you'll note that uh, if you have a garbage can down in there, you can easily access that from the side. So really a very spacious cockpit area, plenty of room here to seat and entertain. And then again, this is all protected under this nice uh, hard top here. And you'll note we got the fusion speakers up above integrated in. So you see, I've got uh, some zippers there. So this whole area can be enclosed. Very nice. I mentioned before the engine room access. Look at this, this is great engine room access here. So these, uh, <coughs> these hatches uh, flip up 
And then note, you're entirely protected. So if you do need to get down in there and you're in some heavy seas or underway, those open to the aft, so uh, there's no risk of falling overboard or anything like that. You do have an emergency uh, bilge pump there, and then there's a shower on the transom on the port side. So a really, really cool boat. We're gonna go ahead and uh, walk up to the flybridge. And you can do that in two different ways. Here on the starboard, you would go up the starboard hull and then up those steps. But again, since we've rolled this uh, bench back to form our short table area there, we've got immediate access up here on the port side to our flybridge. Okay, note the power winches. And then check out this huge, awesome day bed. So we've got the one seat is forward facing at the moment. And then we've got this whole sun pad area and day bed to hang out. So people can hang out up here, enjoy the action. The captain is not isolated or on his own at all. And then you'll note that these, uh, this other sun pad here will fold up. So you can have forward facing seating the whole way across the helm. One feature I love about this is the BNG uh, multi-function display that you have. Really nice big display, nice big wheel. And you can sit up here, relax, take it all in, and then all of your control lines are tied back here to your power Harkin winches. And you just have great visibility up here in the flybridge. Again, we're a fiberglass top here, and then we've got these nice windows here so we can see what the sail is doing. Something I mentioned before is if you do need to step up there on the hard top, you've got the integrated ladders there in the aft uh, quarters of this uh, hard top. And then you've uh, got the uh, tacking system there for your main. And then everything, note, is pulled back here to, uh, to your power system to uh, tack back and forth with that. So really nice. And if you do need to access uh, the foredeck, you can just step up right here. You know, we've got the self-tacking jib on this. So there's the slider back and forth for those. And then we're going to go and uh, look at the bow area here in just a second. Let me give you a view back from the uh, front of this, looking back uh, at your uh, cockpit area there and your flybridge. Really great access to the sail. Everything's nice, safe, secure and a really great entertaining area. So we're gonna hop down here. And then uh, as we go along the deck, you'll note we've got flush hatches the whole way. So what that does is that eliminates a tripping hazard. And then also note the little groove here. So if you do take a wave, those hatches will automatically drain out for you. So really, really safe. They do have an integrated handhold here and then what you'll notice you can really grab onto that very very nicely and then this is non-skid up here so really easy to walk along this boat feel very very secure the whole way now one of the features people really love about the boat is this forward facing seating area here so uh, there's mechanical spaces there with generator and uh, water storage other things like that and then center line you have your windlass and note, you've got good access to that chain all the way up to a very nicely sized anchor. Here are your dolphin chasers. You get some little seats there. And then as we look down in the four peaks, just a huge amount of storage on both sides. A really great feature on the lagoons, see these uh, windows are practically vertical here. So you get maximum amount of interior volume as well as really great visibility from the inside. And then center line, this uh, window, it uh, slides up and down here. So if you need to hand things from the salon out to the bow, you can do that. If you're enjoying some drinks or anything like that up here, you've got access to all of that. And then here I'm going to show you, here's your windlass right there. And obviously you've got remote controls for that up in the helm area. But super nice, super nice setup. And you got some uh, really nice trampolines there. Excellent area. So we're gonna walk around starboard side and then we'll uh, take a look at the interior of the boat here. The flybridge, that is awesome. That's like brought over from a motor yacht with the day bed and everything, just incredible. So really, really nice new innovative design from Lagoon. 
All right, we're going back through the cockpit here, and then here's our main salon. Now, what you're gonna notice is you've got really great tones on everything. All the upholstery, all the woodwork. Look at this leather here. It's really, really nicely appointed. So starboard side, you've got two, uh, two uh, drawers of cold storage. You've got storage up above. Again, these are your sliding doors that slide across here. Here's the window to the galley that opens up. You got this uh, nice U-shaped galley. And then on the port, we, or sorry, on the starboard, we had uh, our top loading storage. Here we've got more cold storage right in the galley area. And then you'll note all the nice stainless steel uh, poles on everything. We got a four burner gas range there, as well as you've got an oven right there. So nice u shape. Notice the fillets here, nothing's gonna slide around or get broken. Really good size sink there, and then it looks like it may have a filtration system also for water. Again, this boat is available here in Fort Lauderdale. All right, so here's our seating. Uh, you do have storage down underneath pretty much all of this. Your master electronic controls are there, so you can turn the lights all on and off all at once. I do like it has little push buttons here for all of your interior lights, so you can quickly hit those on and off one at a time. You'll note in the uh, lower area here, here's your nice BNG. So this is your uh, chart table where you can plan everything out. You've got your fusion stereo system there. You've got a, a BNG VHF radio. And then this is the multifunction system that accesses the uh, generators, all the lights, other systems like that. So this is a three stateroom, three cabin version. So this is the owner's version. We're going to walk down the companionway here on the starboard side. See, you've got a really nice uh, settee there and uh, plenty of area here. So look at how nice your owner's stateroom is. So this is aft on your starboard hull and just really nice semi walk around there. Again, the leather, it's really excellent. And then you'll note you've got fans in every cabin as well. And then see these overhead lights there. Just a really great use of storage. And then here, huge hanging locker. Again, I do like these poles. So nice stainless steel poles everywhere. This is a slider here. So you'll see we can slide and uh, close off this cabin and you've got total privacy here. Um, they do have leather poles. Typically when you're having access to a uh, electrical or ship systems, and then other than that, your uh, poles would be the stainless steel. So you got another mechanical space here, nice easy access to the switches. And then again, plenty of storage there. So we're moving forward on your starboard hull. So this is into your, uh, your main bathroom here. Check out how huge these hull side windows are. Plenty of light, really nice shower with the uh, removable shower wand there. Nice big counter, storage down below. And again, just a really huge amount of storage in this boat. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the head itself. So here's your toilet and a totally enclosed head. And then you've got another sink there as well as a nice large mirror and storage below and also behind that mirror that slides back and forth. So nice electric toilets, sink in there, and then a sink uh, in the larger vanity area. And then again, you can organize this however you want to, but you got plenty of room here to really make the most of it. You can see access to the uh, water and emergency escape hatches down there. And then we're gonna take a look down the uh, port hall and uh, see what we've got going here. So we're gonna move forward on the port side and you see you've got a really nice berth. Again, these huge windows that we have in the hull here give you just a ton of light. And then up above, this is access to your hatches. And you'll note you've got a bug screen there. Oh, bug screen just slid over. And then you can have these uh, blackouts as well. So really nice access there. I'm gonna take a look and show you, again, some of your large storage area that you have here. So. Again, three cabin layout. So on the outboard side, we're gonna open this up. You see we've got our nice electric toilets down below here. Really nice vanity 
and then totally enclosed shower as well. And then check out that uh, nice hall side window there and note you do have a curtain for privacy. And then you also have a hatch with a blackout curtain up above. So we're gonna head to the aft, aft port side. And so here you'll see we've got our third stateroom. Again, really great use of space. Uh, lovely lighting, LEDs. Got integrated uh, fans there, semi walk around berth. So really nice setup here. And then we'll show you this huge hanging locker that we've got here. All right. So we're gonna head back up into our main salon area one more time, and then just take a quick pano around this area. Again, one feature that I'm feeling right now is having the air flow through this window. And you can just imagine yourself getting some drinks prepped here in the galley, getting some food and hors d'oeuvres, having people with the family up above, and then just, boom, handing everything out to this awesome seating area. So really, you've got uh, several different entertaining areas on this boat. Obviously, you've got the big cockpit area out here in the back. You've got your bow seating, you've got your flybridge seating, you've got your main salon, and everything flows together really great. On behalf of myself, Tony Smith, and the rest of the team at Dennis and Yachting, thanks for checking out this Lagoon 46. Please feel free to reach out to me directly at the information below if you're in the market for a boat like this this season. Again, this boat is here in stock and is at the uh, local Florida dealer. For additional information, please email me at ts at denisonyachting.com. Also, feel free to text me at 404-805-9819. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below, and be on the lookout for additional videos.